All right guys, so we're back with another tool review video and today we're gonna to be reviewing this gas detector from Top Test. So they were nice enough to send me this gas detector. This is a PT199 gas detector. You can pick this up on Amazon. I'll drop a link down in the description if you're interested. And this is really good for detecting natural gas or LP propane leaks. And I actually have a fitting on my camper that I suspect is leaking. So we're actually gonna test this out on that and see how it performs. So let's get this unboxed and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, now let's get this unboxed. So it looks like we have some instructions. We have our actual detector and it comes with two brand new Duracell AAA batteries. So it's nice to see that they actually included some quality batteries in here. So let's take these batteries out. Now to install the batteries on this, all you do is you remove the end cap here and it actually shows you on the bottom side here which direction the batteries go in. So you want the positive pointing down. All right, now we just screw the end cap back on. All right, now to turn this on, we simply press the red button and the directions say to let this sit for about 30 seconds. It's doing an air sample and it's zeroing out and getting its baseline. So after it's done, it'll beep and you'll see this bar graph display go down to one bar. All right, now it's ready to detect gas. All right, now you also have this illuminated S button and that's sensitivity. So with it lit up, that's high sensitivity mode and that's 50 to 500 parts per million of gas that it can detect. When you press the button, the light goes out and that's low sensitivity mode and that's 500 to 1000 parts per million. All right, now we're gonna test this out. We're just gonna take a regular Bic lighter here and not actually use the sparker on it. And we're just gonna put it over here and depress the button. All right, you can see that pick that up, no problem. All right, let's try it on low sensitivity mode also. It picks it up right away. Now, the faster this beeps, that means that you're closer to the leak or the amount of gas coming out is a lot more. So before we go to test this, I'm gonna show you how to turn it off too. So to turn it off is the same as turning it on. You just press the button for about a second and then let go and then it shuts off. That's all there is to it. All right, so we're gonna turn it back on. We're gonna go out to my camper and go check out where the suspected leak is that I think that I have. All right, so we're at my camper and I suspect I have a gas leak on one of these lines. This camper is pretty old, it's like 20 years old, so. We're gonna check, look at that, right there. So it's either this hose or this fitting is leaking by and maybe the O-ring on the end of this connector here. All right, now we're gonna test this on the gas stove. This is a natural gas stove and I'm gonna try to get this to come on without lighting it. And it definitely is detecting that gas, no problem. All right, so you can use it on any of your gas fittings on your house. This is my hot water heater and it is natural gas powered. So you can use it to see if you have any suspected leaks. Like if you're smelling that rotten egg smell, this is a good tool to be able to find out where that leak's coming from. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. I want to thank you for watching, and I also want to thank Top Test for sending me this PT199 gas detector. If you're interested in buying this, check out the link down in the description. I'm going to add this to my toolbox of things, and I definitely plan on using this more in the future. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.